Hey guys, today I'll be reviewing the Transformer Studio Series number 21 Voyager Class Starscream from Revenge of the Fallen. First, taking a look at the packaging. See, it has an image of Starscream right here. It says Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. It shows that its name is Starscream. On the side, you have a more pullback image of Starscream. On the back, you have a close up image on his face. On the back, he has some product shots of him in the robot mode and vehicle mode transforms in 26 steps. That is it for the packaging. Now for the fixed accessory. He comes with this little buzz saw thing. The saw is done in this um yellow translucent plastic. It is in the in the part in this part of it is done in a gray plastic with some gold paint on it. You can attach that hand just by tabbing the hand like like that. And then just plugging it in right there. And you have him with his buzzsaw in. Or the you can put it on either hand either side of the hand or you can and you can store it by any of these ports right here. I just like to plug it down on the back right there. That is it for the weapon. Now getting close up to the figure so we can talk about the detail. The all the hieroglyphics on this figure is just absolutely amazing. I love all the black all the black hieroglyphs they could put on this. If this figure, if the base, if the, if, um, the whitish parts were just a dark gray, like a light gray, it would make this figure look so much better. Because that's how it actually was in the movie. But coming in closer, see that the face is done really nicely. Or if I just bring in, actually, the, um, the movie one star screen. You can just see the difference. They both look like two different figures. This dude looks taller because I have him up higher. I just have him like that because he has loose legs. See that it looks completely different. Completely different. It looks like two different figures, but they're both the same. Just this one's a repaint. But as you can see, it has a nice sculpted face with the nice red eyes right there. And the gold on the mouth. For the chest area, it's just the cockpit with all the um, hieroglyphics on there. You got some nice gold paint right there on the on the sides of them. They also got some gold paint right there, some wiring right there. The hands are detailed pretty nicely. The legs and feet are detailed nicely with some gold paint right there. And it's a pretty clean transformation on the back. So I don't like this like little thing right here. See the back doesn't look that bad. You got some molded, you got like some molded and thrusters right there. It's a pretty clean transformation. Really do love this figure. This is a really good figure. Anyway, that's it for some for some size comparisons. Here he is next to Top Spin. Hold on. I need to get something real quick. She needs to get another figure for the size comparisons. That's him ne next to my previous review Studio Series Top Spin. Here he is next to Megatron. They look really good together. And something I'm going to be doing for every review that I'm doing, I'm just going to be comparing it next to Masterpiece Jazz. Cannot wait to review this figure. That's it for the, uh, the size comparison. Now for articulation. we so got just a rotation at the head. You can look from side to side. Due to transformation, you can push the head up. Make him like that, but it looks like he has no neck. He kind of doesn't. Arms can move out, can... Rotate all the way around. Do the transformation. You can go down like that. You got a rotation right here. Got a bend right there. Got a double bend at the elbow. You can do the transformation. You can hinge that up for the wrist. You got a ball joint at the wrist so it can rotate. No race rotation. Leg can kick up that far. And kick back that far. You can spread the legs. Got a rotation right here. Can go like that. On the ankle, 
You can also hinge that up if you want. And you can bend the toe. So overall, you can get some pretty good poses out of this guy. But it's decent posability. That is it for the articulation. Now for transformation. First what we want to do is come over to the hands right here. Just rotate them like that. Pull this in and then it will tab in like that. Basically do the same thing that you did for um, when you plug the weapon in. Then you want to hinge this up and hinge that out like that. You want to do the same thing on the other arm. Like so. You want to come down to the feet. You want to fold down the, um, the foot. You want to take this. This tab will go into that slot. Like so. Fold that back. You want to do the same thing on the side. And then this will just tab in. Then you want to take these. Untab those. Oh, they do pop off pretty easily. You want to come to the back here, untab this, so then you can take these out. You want to come over here. This slot will go into that tab, like that, and then you want to fold that up. Same thing on the side. Then you want to you you can't um you can't uh fold this out with the head like that. You actually have to push the head in first. Then you can do that like so. Fold that down. You want to take the this whole section, fold it in, fold that in. This will just just push that, and that will tab in. Then you want to take this, and this tab will go on that slot, like that. Same thing on the side. Just do that. Lock it down into place. You want to take that, collapse that down. Then you want to take this. That would just lock in the place. Then take this, tab that in, fold up these, then tab those wings in. Flip out the landing gear. And there you have Starscream in his jet mode. And here is Starscream in his jet mode. First for some size comparisons. Here he is next to Avengers of Fallen Megatron. And also, I didn't really transform Jazz because that would kind of take too long. So, I won't be really transforming him for these kind of comparisons. Here he is next to Masterpiece Jazz. Still can't wait to reveal this figure. I'm going to have some really positive things to say about it. That's it for the, well, here he has compared it to, um, oop. The older Starscream, the 2007 one. You see, drastic differences. This one looks a lot better. Look at all those hieroglyphics. I still think if they did this, the white plastic and some gray, it will look a lot better. Honestly. It will look a lot better with just some gray plastic. With just some dark or dark gray plastic against the black, it will look really nice. For weapon storage, basically you got these two slots right here that are gonna go in the these two tabs. Like so. You store right there. If you want to. He does have landing gear. You see. Just flip those up. Again there is a. There is some kibble. On the bottom of it. But I honestly really don't care about that anymore. A jet a jet transformer is always going to have kibble on the bottom. There's no point of. Uh, there's no point of collectors complaining about that. Because there's always going to be kibble on the bottom. Always going to be. Now sometimes there could be a figure that doesn't have that on the bottom. But. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. There's always going to be kibble on the bottom, especially with a board jiggle figure. So coming in closer here for the details. As you can see with the cockpit, you do have some sort of a seat in there. And the control panel. And you got some black right there. And the hieroglyphics on this figure look absolutely amazing. It looks absolutely cool. Got the Decepticon logo. You got some um, Cybertron letters. It looks so cool. Look at all that black, um, black paint for our good fix on there. You got the thrusters back there. That's kind of clean up pretty good on the wings, but not really on the bottom though, but 
as you heard me say, I really don't care about that. Got some intakes right there. I just can't get over how freaking cool this thing looks. It looks better than this one. Even though this was the first one I did get, I did kind of break a little bit. You see, there's some glue right there. They kind of break a little bit, but then I ended up buying this to replace this. And I'm glad I made that decision because I love all the higher glows on here better than this figure. Put in the comments down below, which one do you like better? You like this Starscream or this Starscream better? I'd like to know your um, answers. But overall, that's this is a really nice jet mode. I really like it. I kind of wish they put something on this side because they did put it on here, but that kind of bugs me a little bit. Also, with these do tab in a little bit, do kind of tab in or just like lock into place somehow because they are a little bit loose. And if you hit them a little bit, they go on, they're unlined. It's a really cool jet mode. Anyway, let's get him back into his robot mode and give him a score. So, in my opinion, I think the Star Scream is a really good figure. Um, for a score, I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10 because that's how much I loved it. Star Scream is my favorite Decepticon, by the way, and Jazz is my second, is my favorite Autobot. So, hopefully, I can find the Masterpiece Star Scream and see if I can get him for 50% off because I think... I think he's... I think they um lowered the price because I watched T-Man's Fig Hunt. So, yeah, I'm going to see if I can get it for that much. Anyways, that's it for my review. i see you next week where I'm either going to review this figure or the, um, the Spider-Man figure that I got. Anyway, bye.